Hi everyone, Janie here with more Fairy Hugs goodies from the Fairy Stamper, and I will have links below in the description box to their shop, as well as a discount code that is good through April 15th, 2021. But guess what? There are no fairies in today's project. I am going to be using bears and moose because this Montana girl loves bears and moose. So let's head on over and get started. For the first card, I'm going to be using the Bear Family Stamp Set along with the Fairy Hugs Premium Pigment Ink Pad in Raven Black. And I will also be using Fairy Hugs Fairy Scapes Full Moon Background and their Galaxy Stencil. And <laughs> I will be using Fairy Hugs Pixie Dust Confetti Glitter along with Ranger Texture Paste, Transparent Gloss, and some Distress Oxide Inks and this tree stencil from Sassy and Crafty. And this is the first card I'm making today. So let's get started. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is create an evening sky background with Distress Oxide inks, and then add some northern lights to it. When I get to that point, you'll notice that I probably should have made the northern lights a little bit brighter because they're gonna get hidden behind the next step. So while I'm creating this background, I just wanted to let you all know how much I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my videos because it really means a lot to me. And I always appreciate your comments and your thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing and clicking that little bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Okay, so for those of you that don't have Distress Oxide inks or Distress inks and you can't create your own backgrounds, keep watching because the second card I'm going to make doesn't require any ink blending or coloring. Okay, now we're getting to the part where I'm going to be adding the Northern Lights. I was really disappointed that it was not showing up well on camera, but in person it looked beautiful. Well except for the fact that I should have made them a little brighter. But that's okay, it comes out good in the end, and in person, the northern lights still show up a little bit. I've actually been thinking about what I could have done to make them brighter, and maybe I just needed to choose brighter colors. But it goes to show you that I am not perfect and we all have lessons to learn. Honestly, on camera, these just look like smudges, and I wish you could see what it looks like in person. I know it's not just my camera, because I have watched other crafters who have had the same problem getting the camera to pick up certain effects. Now I'm going to be using Black Soot Distress Oxide ink to create a silhouette background. And talking about backgrounds, how about a little background music for your listening pleasure? With that silhouette background completed, it's time to add the bear to the picture. I'm using my Misty Stamping Platform and Fairy Hugs Premium Pigment Ink in Raven Black. I'm getting that stamp all inked up good, and I'm going to be using my Air Hockey Pusher as a pressure tool to make sure the image gets evenly stamped. And yes, you heard me right, an Air Hockey Pusher. Sometimes you just have to think outside the box. And by the way, this works great. In fact, I did a video review on using this air hockey pusher. 
I'll try to remember to put a link to that below in the description box so you can check it out. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Next, I'm going to be mixing the Ranger Transparent Gloss Texture Paste with some of the Fairy Hugs Pixie Dust Confetti Glitter to create a beautiful sparkly paste to use with the Galaxy Stencil to create a beautiful starry sky. And that is pretty much how I covered up the Northern Lights. But like I said, when it's done, you can still see some of the Northern Lights if you are looking at it in person. But before I start my stenciling, I created a mask to cover the bear, and I also used the inside piece that the tree stencil came with to cover up the trees. So when I'm stenciling the stars, it won't get on the bear and the trees. And I just used my washi tape to hold everything in place. Washi tape just seems to come in handy for a lot of things, doesn't it? Once I had everything where I wanted it and had it all taped in place, then it was time to put the stencil on. I absolutely love this stencil because it isn't just random stars. It actually has a swirl to it, and I just think that looks so cool. Here I am using washi tape again. I could have used pixie spray to hold the stencil in place, but I wasn't sure how it would react with the Distress Oxide ink. And I'm glad I didn't use it because I had to reposition the stencil and I'm afraid the pixie spray might have left some residue behind. But everything stayed in place pretty good with the washi tape. Okay, I think I'll be doing the stenciling with a little music. Oh, this definitely came out beautiful, even though it did hide most of the northern lights. I still love it. Okay, it's time to start putting this card together, and I am using some close to my heart glitter paper and my favorite paper saving technique by cutting the center out of it since no one's ever going to see it. And I'm going to get that glued right on to the front of the card. And I was using my Beacon 3-in-1 to get that done. And next I'm going to be using some Distress Ink to ink the edges because I do not like the white edges that are around the edges like that. I mean, I've made the, the front of it all blue, but the white cardstock is still showing on the edges. So that kind of gives it a nice, clean, finished look. And now I'm using my Beacon 3-in-1 to glue that on the front of the card, and it is going to be so beautiful. Just check this out, because that glitter paper is kind of a blue. It is blue. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful color blue that I think just worked so perfectly with that card. What do you think? <laughs> I know what I think. I think that left side of the card needs a sentiment. So I am going to use one of these metallic stickers and put it right on there. And I think that makes it just absolutely perfect. So here it is finished. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. Okay, time for card number two. And now I'm using that Fairyscape's full moon background that I mentioned earlier. And I just love this because it's printed on really sturdy, heavyweight cardstock. And I'm also going to be using the Moose stamp set and the Bear Family stamp set. And of course, the Fairy Hugs ink. I will also be using this Recollections foil cardstock from Michaels and Ranger Clear embossing powder. So I've got the stamps lined up on the background where I want them, and I'm going to ink them up and stamp them a couple of times, and then I'm going to be heat embossing them with the clear embossing powder. I absolutely love these stamps, and I think they look so perfect against that full moon. My husband and I have a business called Bear Moose Creations, so I thought it was perfect to put these two together. Even though I didn't use embossing powder on the first card, I do like using it because it really makes the image pop. And any second now, you're gonna see that glossy shine appear. 
Isn't that just beautiful? Yes, I forgot to use my embossing buddy the first time around, but I thought I should use it this time. And I found that Adventure Awaits stamp in a Close to My Heart stamp set that I have that is no longer available, but I thought it was absolutely perfect for this card, and I'm also going to heat emboss that. I thought I would go ahead and leave this part in for those of you that love watching the heat embossing magic. And just like with the first card, I'm going to ink up those edges to hide the white to give it a nice, clean, finished look. My card base is a 6x6 six six top fold, and I'm going to put the foil cardstock on top of that, and yes, again, with the center cut out so that I don't waste any of that beautiful paper. You should know by now, I'm a scrap hoarder, and I hate wasting anything. So with that on, I'm going to be gluing on the card top on top of that, and as always, I am using my Beacon 3-in-1. I absolutely love that glue. It has a quick tack, it holds forever, and it gives me just enough wiggle room to get everything lined up perfectly. Well, here it is, and I just love the way it turned out, and there was no ink blending or coloring involved. Thank you all for stopping by today, and also don't forget to stop by the Fairy Stamper, link below in the description box, because you're going to want to see what else they have besides fairies and moose and bears. Oh my! <laughs> Happy crafting, everyone! Bye-bye! If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider that too. And if you do, be sure to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways. And I hope you stop by Crafters Castle on Facebook and also Crafters Castle Challenge Blog to enter your creations.